Hey guys, Nayash here. So installing Android Pie is not easy right now. You have to download many things and you have to be actually a geek to install Android Pie in your phone. But don't worry, I'm happy to show you the first custom room. Yes guys, custom room, not GSI. So this is first custom room for Android Pie and it is completely USB based room. And also in this video, I will show you how to install that. So let's get started. So as I said, this is pure USB based ROM and you get pure Android Pie, the same Android Pie you get in Pixel phones. And it has latest security patch of August, so that's amazing. And thanks to awesome developers at XDA, now we are running this on our Redmi Note 4. And guys, you won't find any bugs that you found in developer preview or the final GSI build. This is a proper custom ROM. So Play Store is working, volume slider of Android Pie is working with new recent menu. And yes, this room comes with pre-installed AOSP camera and the camera is working perfectly. And the amazing thing is hardware keys are working guys. See if you have phone with hardware keys and if you don't want to use those Android Pie gestures, this is the room for you. But the main reason I installed this room is Volti. Yes guys, Volti is working perfectly in this room and I know many of you had issues with developer preview. In some phones, Volti was not working, but in this room, Volti is working. So if you want Volti on Android Pie, then you can install this room. So guys, installing this room is slightly different than other rooms, so make sure you watch this video till end. First of all, you need to download ROM file and this Android Pie gaps file. If you find any other gaps file, you can use that. Make sure you use stable based recovery. And if you don't know how to install a table based recovery, you can watch our video in i button. And you will find all the downloads in the description box below. So first of all download everything and boot into your custom recovery. I'm using TWRP exclusive. And before you do anything, make sure you take full Android backup. Now go to wipe, perform a factory wipe. And now go to install and only install the room file make sure you don't install the gaps so we are going to install gaps means google apps right now if you install this with room you might have boot loops So once the installation is done, reboot your phone and the first boot might take around 5 minutes. And once your phone boots, you can set up everything if you want. You can set up your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, you can set up your display settings. And if you don't want to set up, that's okay also. Now we are going to boot into TWRP recovery again. So once you boot into your recovery, go to install tab and now we are going to install gaps means Google apps so you can have play store and all the Google services in your phone. So once that done, reboot your phone and now you have complete Android 9.0 Pi in your phone. This is pure vanilla experience and guys if you want to watch this room's full review, let me know in the comment section so I can taste this room for a few days and I will taste this room's battery, performance and stability. So again comment below and let me know if you want to watch a full review of this room. And as always like this video if you appreciate my work, 
This is your friend Nay signing out and I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.